actually going to start standing up and you can take your feet a little wider than hip width apart today and we're going to start to move our lymphatic system so these energy lines that are amazing for our health system for our immune system so we're going to start by taking an easy twist and your arms are loose here and i want your hands to kind of tap your front and back body here so with these little taps as you look left and right keep your feet nice and heavy to the floor and your knees soft and just start to find your breath here so nice big breaths in and out through the nose and they don't have to be short or sharp they don't have to go in time with the movement and your head is relaxed it's just your eyes are following the movement that you're doing. And we're here for a few moments today. And this might feel very repetitive, but this is a really great movement to really wake up that lymphatic system. And our lymphatic system is the dishwashers of our body. So it's super important if we want to get rid of any colds or pandemics that our lymphatic system is working. So closing those eyes, if you like, we're in this for a few more moments, stay with me. Nice. Nice and soft, letting that movement come from the waist. be soft or relaxed so we haven't stiffened or we're not holding the jaw or the face here nice nearly there stay with it and if you're getting hot great if you're building heat amazing we're waking up the body here tapping from the forehead all the way down the back of the head down the shoulders all the way down the back tap 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 all the way down the backs of your legs and then coming back the same way all the way up get those shoulders back of the head all the way down the forehead just by the eyebrows again tapping so this is for the lymphatic system. If you follow the meridian lines, this is also a meridian line if you're interested. It's amazing how all the different kind of sciences and can kind of be married, you know? So just finding that nice tapping, nice and light. Your hands want to be floppy. So we're not hurting ourselves, but we're waking up. Nice. Do this one more time down the backs of the body. Lovely. All the way up, up, up. Tap, 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 tap. Great. Now we're going to go from underneath the eyes, down the face, down the neck. Lots of glands here. All the way around the breasts and the armpits. Down the, into the groin here. Lots of tapping. Down. Nice. Coming up the front. Give yourself time here. Tap, 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 tap. Nice and soft with the fingertips. 
all the way underneath the eyes and then we go again take your time around the neck around the groin lots of glands down into the feet tap 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 lovely all the way around the breast area Gorgeous. One more time, all the way down the front of the body. Lovely. Great. We're going to start to swing our arms today. And what's so lovely is there's so many types of yoga. So yes, this isn't a kind of yoga that we've done before, but anything that gets to know the body, using the breath, the movement is yoga. So we're going to start to find this nice swinging action in the arm because yes, there's lots of glands and lymphatic systems all the way underneath the armpit and down the sides. So we want to make sure this area is moving and you can keep this just swinging up and down if you have limited shoulder mobility, but if you've got a nice range of movement and the shoulder should be warm now, we're going to take it all the way around. So we're going to start to really circle those arms using your breath here so nice gorgeous circling those arms around beautiful use that breath and then we're going to circle back forwards and remember if this is too much for those shoulders do what is in your range of motion you can take the hands down you can also be sitting today if your energy is low and you need to have a seat while you're doing this. Of course, go for it. Nearly there. We've got five, four, three, two, one. And then just let the hands swing again. Oh, that energy. Bring your feet just underneath you. Stand for a moment. Loop the shoulders. Breathe in. Let the shoulders soften down the back. Exhale. Breathing in, feel the energy you've created. Breathing out. And one more time. Awesome, great. We're going to tap around the hands. So we just, all that area we activated, we're tapping around the armpit and down the front. So coming up on the top of the hand, around the top of the shoulder, underneath the armpit, maybe down the side here, and then underneath the arm. Do this two more times. Tap, tap, tap. And my hand is very loose here. It's floppy, the hand that's tapping. So we're not hurting, it's not a slap. It's really a tapping. Nice, and we go to the other side. Nice loose hand all the way around underneath the armpit. Gorgeous. And these are exercises if you're at your desk, you can do in the middle of your day. So accessible, so important. If we are sitting a lot over lockdown or at your desk job, you want to make sure that these glands are doing their jobs, making your immune system stronger. Beautiful. Awesome, lovely. One last thing that we're going to do. Let me just spread them out. I'm getting a little hot. Take my jumper off. But we're going to get those fingers flicking. So you're just going to flick your fingers and you're going to just take a little light shifting of the weight forwards and back. Gorgeous. And your arms are going to get tired and you're going to keep flicking those fingers. Nice. You're going to reach the fingers up, take them down, and now I want you to shake your hands and you can move wherever you like on your mat. Doesn't matter. We're not here for too long yet, but this is again a great way to get those lymph glands moving nice and soft. You got it. Shake, 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 shake. Amazing. Well done. Standing at the top of your mat, ready to start our day. 
This is a moment that you can set your intention. And then we'll lift our arms all the way up, inhale. Fold over the legs, exhale. Hands to the shins, find a flat back, inhale. Gorgeous, stepping it back to a plank position, right foot and left. Shoulders over wrists, spread your fingers so you can see all, lots of space between the fingertips. And then maybe drop the knees here, this is our first press up. Send your pubic bone forward, shift your weight, shoulders over wrists. Slowly bend the elbows, lower the chest to the floor. Loop the shoulders, press into the backs of the feet. Lift the heart. Gorgeous. Exhale to release all the way down. Press into the hands. Lift up to a tabletop position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. We mobilize that spine. Drop the belly, send the heart forwards, inhale. Press into the hands, round into the back, exhale. Keep going with your breath, inhale. Rounding into the back, exhale. So nice, two more like this. Lovely. Let's find our neutral spine, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog, lengthen out the spine, send your tailbone up to the ceiling and maybe you need a generous bend in your knees. You're going to step your right foot to the outside edge of the right hand, so nice and wide today. And then right hand is going to lift up and you're going to press your left heel away. So there's no bend in that left knee and the leg is strong. Very nice. Step your right hand back. Back to your downward facing dog, core engaged, downward facing dog. Left foot, left hand. So just on the outside edge of your mat, press your right heel away. Lift your left fingertips up to the sky. Beautiful, easy twist. Land your hand down, step it back, downward facing dog. Right foot to the outside edge of the right side of your mat. Right hand to lift, inhale. Gorgeous, step it back to downward facing dog. Use your hands, lift from your abdominals. Very nice, left foot, left hand. And of course you can always remember to help yourself using your hand if you step here, just grab hold of that ankle and step it forwards. Left hand to the sky. Very nice. Land your hand, find your downward facing dog. One more time here. Right foot. Right hand to lift, press that left heel away. Downward facing dog, hips up high. Left foot left hand very nice step it back downward facing dog step your right foot forwards then your left exhale fold over the legs exhale rolling up one vertebrae at a time inhale loop the shoulders all the way up back and down sweep the arms up inhale Fold over the legs, exhale. Left foot, then right, step it back to your plank, shift your weight forwards. Use your knees here if you need. Lower all the way down onto the belly, bend the elbows, exhale. Cobra, point the feet, lift the knees, lift the heart. Exhale, release. Press down into the hands and the knees, tabletop position. Gorgeous. Very nice. Right hand to extend, left leg to extend. We inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, pull in. Inhale to lengthen. 
exhale elbow to knee so nice three more with your breath core engaged finding those abdominals and this cross body action is so important in the body one more time inhale to lengthen exhale change arm and leg left leg to left arm to lift right leg to lift square the hips inhale exhale elbow to knee inhale to lengthen exhale inhale lovely three more gorgeous one more lovely land your hand in your knee tuck your toes lift your hips downward facing dog this time your right foot is coming to the outside edge of your right hand and then left leg to join dropping the hips find your malasana squat heels in toes out Squeeze the knees into the elbows, the elbows into the knees, and lift your heart to your thumbs. Just from here, pressing into the hands, reaching the arms up. Inhale, we're going to stand all the way up. Press down into the feet, all the way up. Inhale, gorgeous. And then we're going to slow it back down. Exhale, hands to the heart, bend the knees, lower the hips down. Let's do that two more times. Reach the arms up, prepare. And then press into the heel, start to lift all the way up, squeeze into the glutes. Very nice, we slowly come down, hands to heart, bend the elbows, exhale. Last one like this, extend the arms, use the breath, press down into the feet to lift. So nice. And then slowly come back down, hands to heart, elbows, elbows to knee. Very nice, lift the heart to the breastbone, really lengthen the spine, and then walk your hands out in front of you, round into your back, and then gracefully as you can, lower your hips to the floor. If you need to bring those hands behind you, please do so. Reach your fingertips long, and roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. Slowly lowering, lowering. If you need your hands behind your knees, use your hands. If not, we're gently using those abdominals all the way down. Walk your feet underneath you. Brush your fingertips with your heels. Nice. And then we're going to press down into the feet. And we're going to find a Pilates bridge first. So you're going to press down into the feet, lift the hips, and you're going to find this lovely line, knees, hips, and shoulders. So we haven't made this a back bend yet. I want us to first find the backs of the legs and the glutes. Finding this gorgeous line, knees, hips, and shoulders. Notice if the rib cage has fled, can we soften the ribs down? Hands are on either side. And I'd like you to shift your weight in into the balls of your feet and lift your heels for a moment and just start to feel the quads the fronts of your legs here as you send your knees forwards keeping that nice straight line back of the head heavy here and then slowly lowering your heels down and lifting your toes up and drawing your heels back so you start to feel the back of the body here keep those hips high and then just do that a few more times, shifting the weight into the balls of the feet, lift the heels, take the knees forwards, feel that front line of the body. Very nice, exhale, release the heels, toes up, pull them, drag the heels back, they're not gonna go anywhere. 
but we want to find the back of the legs here let them turn on one more time lower the balls of the feet lift the heels send the knees forward so lovely release the heels toes up press the heels to the floor drag them almost back and then land the balls of the feet, lift the hips one more time, and then slowly lower all the way down onto the floor. So we've activated into the glutes, we've worked that area. So now that we, the glutes are turned on, we can really protect that lower back for a back bend. There's support there. So keeping the feet where they are, inhale, lift your hips up. This time you can squeeze your hips even further up. So now we're not worrying about a line, but we want to find this beautiful C shape. You're going to come onto your shoulders and walk the shoulders even further underneath you. Maybe an interlace of the hands. Keep pressing down into the four anchor points of your feet, lifting your hips, lift the belly, lift the chest, find a gorgeous bow shape with your spine, C shape. Take two more breaths here, the legs should really be turned on here as you press down into the forearms, the wrists and shoulders. Release your hands, roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. Knock your knees in, hands to your heart and just feel the energy you've started to create, just like our lymphatic system. We've moved into the chakra system, opening that heart center. And there's another energy release here to feel. Breathe it in. do that one more time so setting your feet up brushing your fingertips with your heels your feet are parallel here press down into the feet lift the hips squeeze the glutes and when you come up onto the tops of the shoulders walk the triceps underneath you here if it's available you're interlacing the hands squeezing the palms together pressing the outside edges of the hands into the floor if this is too hard, you can, of course, have the hands flat to the floor, whatever is available in your body. We breathe here, we lift the heart, we squeeze the glutes. Back of the head heavy, even thinking about the forehead being heavy, so we don't over tuck the chin. There's space between the chin and the neck. Press down, lift up. Gorgeous, opening up into that back. This is to reverse any hunching over telephones computers, reversing bad posture in cars. Beautiful, release your hands slower than you want to roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. Gorgeous, you're gonna take your hands in a cactus shape, elbows bend 90 degrees, take your feet as wide as your mat and gently knock your knees left and then to the right. Use your breath here. Let's do that one more time, releasing anything that might have been caught up there, letting any tension go in that lower back. Very nice. Drawing your knees into your chest, hands to the backs of the thighs. Excuse me, rocking and rolling along. Two sneezes. Rocking and rolling along our spine three times to find a seat. Extend your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms up and we take a soft forward fold after our back bends exhale. So this is to release all of that beautiful opening in the front body. We're closing in the back body here. And you don't have to be legs flat on the floor. I just want you to be soft here. You can even let your feet turn out and your knees can have a micro bend in them. And you're breathing into the backs of the lungs. You're letting the hands be heavy. You're 
just softening. You're slowly rolling all the way up to a seat. And then reaching your fingertips long, we're going to use that same way we roll down, but this time legs are extended. A little bit more use of our abdominals here, nice and slow. Remember, if you want to bend those knees, hold on to the backs of the knees, you can. I also like the version of splitting my mat apart, holding onto my mat to lower myself down. Coming all the way down, so nice. And just bringing a bend in the knee, soles of the feet to the floor, reaching your right heel to the ceiling, and then crossing that right ankle on top of the left thigh for an easy hip stretch. Taking hold of the back of the thigh here, and drawing that right knee away as you draw your left knee in. And for a lot of guys, we're going to want to round in the top of the back and look at our legs. If that's the case, hold on to anywhere where you can soften the shoulders and the back of the head into the floor. If you have to lift your head to hold on to the back of the thigh, it's not worth it. Soften the back of the head, the shoulders to the floor. And then press your left knee into your right ankle and send your right knee away. Very nice. Gorgeous. And then if you are a little bit more flexible and you're looking for more sensation, draw your right heel, your left heel to your left buttocks and hold on to your shin instead of your thigh. So this is not a requirement, this is just an option if anyone isn't feeling the stretch around the right outer hip. Make sure your right foot is flexed here. Whole back line of the body is on the floor and heavy. And then so simple, release the foot, land the left leg, extend the right heel to the ceiling. And then you're going to press that left hand into left thigh and reach your right arm up to the sky. And then you're going to slowly lower hand and foot all the way down to the floor. Keep pressing left hand into left thigh. Lift back up, core engaged. Two more like this. Press left hand to left thigh. Keep the whole back line of the body on the floor. One more time. Lift up. And then changing sides, land your right foot, extend your left leg long, flex your toes and cross your left ankle onto left thigh. Drawing that left knee away, take a moment here to just invite that knee to move away. And then drawing your right knee in towards you, hands to the back of the thigh or just holding anywhere where you can keep the torso soft. Nice, inviting the left hip to open. And if you're extra bendy and you're looking for more sensation, you're gonna drive your right heel to right buttocks and bring your hands to your shin instead of the thigh. Keep flexing the left foot, keep softening the shoulders, the spine to the floor. And notice if you're holding any tension in the face. Where is your breath gone? Deepen the breath. So nice. Two more breaths like this. And then slowly release your hands, bring your right foot back to the floor, extend your left leg and then right hand gonna press down into right thigh and 
as you press the hand into the thigh, I want you to press your lower belly down so that the lower ribs hug onto the floor. Reach your left arm up to the sky and then with your abdominals, you're gonna extend left leg, left hand behind. Reach down to the floor and then core engage, keep pressing right hand to right thigh, lift up. Gorgeous, and we're gonna start to progress this in our next class. So this is the, pre the preparation for our abdominals, just getting them into the body. Another great place where we can activate into the glands around the groin and the armpit. Land it down. And just draw your knees into your chest for a moment and circle the knees around. This is gonna soften around your sacral, your lower back area. And with your next inhalation, you'll just change direction. Gorgeous. And then when we're in, you're ready, you're gonna take your final resting pose. Shavasana, classic, extending the legs as wide as your mat, shoulders flat on the floor, palms facing up. This is your first option. This is where you can stay. Second option, you can find a seated meditation, an easy cross leg position. Wherever you are, we have a few moments to really get to know the body. Close the eyes. Feel the energy that you've created today through our lymphatic system through our back bend, our heart chakra. And just notice your mood now. Notice the vitality running through your veins. And let this set up your day. stay in your relaxed shavasana on the floor or seated meditation for as long as you like. I really invite you to stay but if you're ready to end this practice join me by coming to find a seat. Drawing your arms up overhead taking a big inhale breath. Bringing the hand through to the heart center exhale just taking a moment of gratitude for your body, for its health, have a wonderful day, namaste.